What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another programming interview questions tutorial series video and today we're going to be exploring another arrays question and this question is rearrange positive and negative values and I'm going to start off by reading the prompt here or the question here. Um, so the description says given an array can you rearrange its elements in such a way that the negative elements appear on one side and the positive elements appear on the other. Solve this problem in Java and see if your code runs correctly. All right, so we're given an imp input here, which is uh, this input array, which is two, four, minus seven, eight, two, minus two, minus one, three. And our expected output, as you can see, would be minus seven, minus two, minus one, eight, four, th two, three. You know, and you can see the negative numbers are on the left side and the positive numbers on your right side. Now, um, how do you do this? Well, uh, you're going to have to iterate through the array, right? Just looking at this problem, you'll see, I can see that you're going to probably have to do some iteration through the array and some swaps. So it's kind of lends to um, some of the uh, building blocks pro type of solutions that you see with arrays. And the solution I'm going to imp implement is going to use a counter or sort of a, a, a pointer variable that's going to check um, whether that's going to help you swap array indices based on whether they're negative or not and shift them to the left. So basically, I want to show you that logic now. Let me open my Eclipse. All right, let me go and open a new class. I'm going to just call this. I think this is from another video. Um, new class. Uh, what should I name this? I'm going to say positive negative or let me say rearrange rearrange neg doesn't really matter I just need you guys to understand the intuition and everything behind it um whoops rearrange negative there we go all right so here we have our rearrange negative method and so the first thing we want to do like i said we want to have that pointer variable that's going to help us swap the positive neg numbers and negative numbers based on whether or not they're um you know less i mean i guess whether it's negative and we're going to left shift them we're going to shift the negative numbers to the left so we're gonna have to have our pointer start at the left which is basically zero or ray in the zero right so I'm gonna declare a variable I'm gonna call it int j and I'm gonna set it equals to zero right and like I said you have to iterate through the array so I'm going to iterate through all right uh, actually what am I doing I need to put this into a method this is just a class I thought I was inside the method. So um, I should actually call the method rearrange negative and the class solution. So let me just go delete that here. And yep, go delete that. And create another class. Sorry, guys, but this will only take a quick second. Should name this solution. All right. So basically what I have to do and I forgot to add that public static void the main method let me just go ahead and add that before I forget alrighty so like I said, the method's name is going to be rearrange negative and you're not returning anything. You're just basically shifting and rearranging things in place. So the method signature is going to have a void static void rearrange negative. Uh, that's a pretty long name. So I'm going to say rearrange neg. Um, and it's going to take an integer array. And uh, yeah, so basically what we want to do, like I said, we wanted to have that J variable equals to zero, right? And then 
what we want to do next after that is we want to iterate through the array. So for i int i is equal to zero, i is less than array dot length i plus plus, right? And in that array or in, in that for loop, what I want to do is I want to check if the array index at i is greater, oh wait, wait, sorry, not greater, is less than zero. Because if it's less than zero, that means it's negative, right? And then afterwards, what I also want to check, I want to check to see if that value is also not equals to i. So basically, j, as long as j is, j is not, or like, not the value, basically the uh, indices of, because you're going to have to increment J after each swap. So basically what you need to do is you need to check if I is equal to J. And if it is, you can, I mean, the logic won't make sense. So you just, you just ignore that. So J and I can't be equal. All right. And then deep inside this, um, if nested, if statement, what you want to do here is you want to start the swap. And um, if you don't know how to swap, basically you just need to create some sort of bucket variable and you place what you want to swap here. And then you take that, since you already placed it somewhere, you take that and you set it equals to array J and you set array J equals to temp and that's how you swap if you didn't know if you didn't know it's cool it's whatever so now that these are swapped right you want to jump out of this if loop this nested if and then go into the other if at the bottom of that because once you know that condition holds true um what you want to do is you want to make sure you're incrementing j right and what, what that'll do is, is that it basically it essentially just moves the J forward as you're going through the array whenever it finds a negative number. So just to recap on that logic here, like I said, we have a pointer variable J, which since we're trying to shift things to the left, we're going to have to start at zero, right? And then we're going to go through the array, iterate through the array. And as we're iterating, we're going to check at each um, element whether that element is negative, which is less than zero. Negative numbers are less than zero. And then also we want to check that J is not equals to I. And if it's not equals to I, what we're going to do is we're going to swap the array index at I and swap it with the array index at J, right? And then we're going to increment J. Um, so yeah, this should work. This looks like a complete solution. Um, like I said, we're not returning anything because the return type is void, but we do also want to just make sure that, um, everything is working. So we're going to test it out in the main method. So basically in the main method, what we're going to do is we're going to create an int array and we're going to initialize it then in there. So we're going to just say array, um, and we're going to initialize some values. And these values are going to contain positive and negative numbers. So four minus one, six minus two and minus three. Okay. So we've got two minus three, four minus one, six minus two minus three and minus oh, minus two minus three. Right. I just wanted to space that out so you guys can see that. Right. All right. So what we're going to do is what we have to do. We'll just say, let me just system out print. I want to just print this out. Print. Line. Yep. Basically, I want to print out something that says um, array after array after shifting values to the left 
let me say negative values. Um, all right, and what we're going to do is we are going to iterate through this our new array. We're going to have to sort it first, or not sort it, sorry. We're going to have to call this rearrange neg. So uh, copy that, play that, and then we're going to pass it array. And that should be good. And then for int i is equal to zero, i is less than array dot length i plus plus. Then what we're going to do is we're going to at each array in uh, iteration, we're going to just print it out. So basically, we're just going to print out the array index at i. And let me see. What am I doing? Let me just system dot out dot print. Um, we're going to just print that. Oh, what am I doing? What's going on here? Uh, okay, so we're going to print. Uh, we're going to print this out. Print this out. How are we going to do that? I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. Uh, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to print array i. And I'm going to do a plus. Oh, man. What is the problem? Oh, array. Um, so yeah, that should do it. That should do it. All right, let me just go ahead and run this and make sure we have everything right. Okay, so there we go. Uh, man, I that kind of looks confusing. Let me just add just a space because it's already a negative number. So it's going to have this little line here and it's going to confuse people. So let me just make that a space and run that again. I just wanted you guys to see that. Okay, so now you see all the numbers. There were four. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. There were four negative numbers in this array and they're all left shifted right now they're not going to be shifted in the order of you know size like you know the most negative to the least negative they're not going to be sorted right they're just going to be all the negatives or numbers are just going to this method just buckets all the negative numbers to the left and all the positive numbers is right shifted to the right all right. So basically, let me just recap on that just so you have a clear cut understanding of how this works. You want to have a pointer and that pointer is going to start at zero, right? Then you're going to iterate through the length of the full array and at each element that you're iterating through. Sorry, guys, New York is kind of loud. So, yeah, sirens and whatnot. But anyway, as you're iterating every element, what you want to do is you want to check if it's negative. How do you check if it's negative? If that uh, array index at i is less than zero, also you want to make sure that you're not at the same array index as the the, the pointer, like you, the i and the j are not the same. You want to make sure they're not the same because how can you swap them if they are the same? Then what you want to do is swap, and I already explained the logic about that, putting that in a bucket and then switching elements around, and then after you break out of this if, where j is not equals to i what you want to do is increment that j and then it's going to break out of this if and then it's going to return back to the for loop and go to the next iteration so at the next iteration when this becomes one j is also going to become one and then it's going to perform a check and then keep going and keep going and so on and so forth like that that's how we get these elements shifted and basically that's how you do it it's a pretty simple solution what is this only like 
like 14 or so I mean if you count the brackets it's like 16 lines of code or so it's a very simple solution all you're doing is comparing and swapping as you're iterating through the array and using a pointer to do that kind of like a lot of these array questions and basically with these questions what you want to do is you want to see the patterns there's other questions that are like this that are going to require you to swap and also do checks at each element in the array right as you're iterating through it so a lot of these questions are going to have an o of n solution and this solution is an o of n in time complexity and o of one space because you're not creating any auxiliary arrays to solve your problem right um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here like comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this that helps you get better paying tech jobs and as well help you ace these programming interviews all right guys you have a great day and happy wednesday